screw up, bug! I'm a tank! Okay, I totally missed. How's it going, guys? Dragast here, and today we're gonna be squishing some bugs in Home Wars. Now, this is a new Warfare game that takes it to the smaller scale, as you can see. Uh, by the front menu here, it is the green plastic army men versus the common house insects. So yes, it's a pretty interesting premise. Basically, uh, the insects come in during the summertime and the plastic army soldiers have to keep the insects at bay, you know, to keep their homeland safe. Now, I will say you might think that this looks a little bit basic, but it actually is a very complex strategy game. Uh, which is very interesting. So there's two different modes. We got a campaign mode, which kind of plays like... Probably the best way to explain it is Mountain Blade, where you capture places and try and defend your home fort. And then you got Custom Battle mode, which I haven't tried yet, but it kind of sounds like it plays like Total Tank Simulator or any of the other games where you just splat down units and try and fight against each other. But I did want to go in here because I want to show you how complex this game is. It's not just one army soldier. We got a whole plethora of different units to check out. I mean, look at look at the amount of tanks. We got three rows of tanks in here. Well, I mean, there's howitzers in there and whatnot too, but you get the idea. We got big guns. We got helicopters, an armored airship. I mean, jets. Looks like we got a warthog down here. We got a lot of different uh, gunships, of course. I mean, if I was still a kid, I would be impressed with this plastic army collection in this game. Uh, so you get the idea of that, and the cool thing is the amount of insects too, it's not just like ants and spiders. We got everything in here, and I love how they use their scientific names, which just, which just makes everything a little bit more confusing, but like, scorpions! Clearly that house must be in Australia or something, so yeah, we got different types of scorpions. I mean, there's some bugs in here, I don't even know what they are, like, what is this guy? Oh yeah, this is the one that shoots out molten lava from its back end. Good choice, that's probably a very good beetle, but yeah, it's nicknamed the Bombardia Beetle because it can secrete and shoot a high temperature liquid from its abdominal glands. So, you get the idea, there's a lot of interesting bugs in here that we are going to go up against. Now, both game modes play totally differently, so I'm gonna try the campaign now. Now, I have played the campaign once, and it is difficult, man. Like, real difficult. So we're gonna try a new one here, and then we might do a custom battle at the end of this game. So here we are at the, um, I guess you, you could say map. It's basically different homes, which I love. So you got the uh, home sweet home, which is a generic home, and then we got the double hallway right down the middle here. And, uh, you get the idea. These things just get more and more interesting. Look at the bridge, so that is going to be a choke point like no other. Alright, so the, for the first one, let's do a simple home here. I don't want one with too many rooms, so... Either the bridge or home sweet home. Home sweet home definitely looks like the simple one, so... I think we're gonna do that one. Now, I'm also going to drop the enemy's attack level and health down, because... I don't know what the developer's doing, but I freaking lost in the first battle, and by a long shot, so... I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, again, I am learning this game as we go, but... Uh, I've talked to a lot of people, and it's very difficult for everybody, so I don't feel so bad. Let's hope we can do it right now. Let's kick some asses, and I am the boss. So here we are at, I guess you could say the map control mode. There's two different phases. There's the war phase, and then there's the strategic phase of placing your units. So, the ants, obviously, or bugs rather, come from outside. I mean, if you have that big of an anthill right at the front of your back door, where you don't have a door, mind you, it's your own damn fault if you're allowing that many insects to go in your house. I mean, just exterminate that shit already. Don't leave it to your child's army men to do that for you. Now, uh, the controls in this game, a little bit wonky. That's the, um, one complaint I'll give to it, but aside from that, it is very, very complex. So here is our starting station, obviously the child's room, and here we are at our headquarters. Now, you can see the amount of um, information in this game, a little bit actually overwhelming. I mean, we got a tech tree here, we got ammunition that we can strategize, we can go to the market to buy and sell. I don't even know what this is, but uh, we're not going to get it 
Uh, you have to unlock Observer and unlocks General Observer to use this section. Alright, not too worried about that just yet. Uh, we're just gonna try and do the basic stuff. Obviously, the first fights are going to be some small insects, but there's a lot of them. There's too many of them. So we're gonna manage our headquarters here. Here is our headquarters. This is where we can place different types of factories, buildings that are going to help us with resources. All the resources you can see at the top here. Plastics, metals, batteries. Don't know, don't know, because that's way too far in the game for right now. But I have been told, focus on the plastics. Obviously, we are using plastic men. Um, basically, plastic mate makes our units. So the effects of the plastic factory are turning rough plastic into refined plastic, but it also uses batteries in doing so. So we are going to want to increase our batteries later on. I'm going to do... I think two plastic factories should be smart for right now, and then one metal factory. I don't actually know what metal's for, but we don't have too much of it, so I gotta assume it would be smart to get that early on. Now, there's a bunch of different other stuff in here. We can do launch sites, military academies, which I believe gives you XP, yes, which is something we are going to want to do because XP is how you unlock units. Uh, you saw that tech tree earlier. I will close the management for right now. That should be good for right now. Uh, but if we go into unlocks here, you have to go down the trees. Like, look at that. There's a green army men mech. I never had that as a kid, but you can go down the infantry tree, the vehicle tree, you get the idea, artillery tree, aircraft tree, and general. Now, the first thing we're going to want to get is the supply truck. Reason being is the supply truck heals units around it, so obviously we're going to take some damage. It even says, the supply truck is not a choice but a necessity for every army, so they probably should have give it to, given it to you right away, but they make you unlock it. Now, the sapper is also a really cool unit. It's kind of like the engineer unit of the battlefield. It can build things on the battlefield, so that's something we are going to want to get as well, but we're going to want to go up the uh, tech tree as well. So do I want to do a sapper or do I want to do a different infantry unit? I think we're going to try a different infantry unit and I'm just going to go generic. We're going to go rifleman here and we will unlock that. Now how much, wait, I'm going to go back. How much does the sapper cost? Okay, so that costs 100 experience. Again, he's very useful. But I think for early on, the mistake I made was I actually bought that guy, as I did play through already. Anti-aircraft infantry. That might be smart as well, because there is flying insects. That's exactly what it's talking about. But I think we might even... No, I think we're just going to save our XP and get the sapper next. All right, but now that we're done that, this is a turn-based mode when we are doing this. Uh, I didn't even really explain what we're doing in here. You can see the flags. We need to capture each flag and push the enemy out of our house. Uh, in the end. That's the ultimate goal, at least. I don't think we'll get to that by the end of this episode, because uh, these games can be long. But we're going to end day one, and just like Total War and other games, you know, everybody has their day, and then you are... Actually, Civilization would probably be a more accurate representation. But yeah, you end your day, you get your resources, so now that we have the plastic factories up, we are earning 1,000 plastic a day. With that plastic, we can recruit units. So we're going to want to create armies, again, very similar to something like Mountain Blade, where you create different troops of armies so create a new one here oh sorry i gotta hit recruit new arm army and then all of our units will pop up in here so currently again it's going to be very basic for these first few fights we only have three units so we're going to do some riflemen here these cost 40 each so we'll be able to do quite a few of these and i don't think there's really even a point to get light riflemen let's see the uh battle or the stat difference here because it costs 30 to do these it costs 40 to do these they got 120 health most of the other stuff uh, is actually about the same i actually wish it does it not say damage i don't think it says damage uh cost and battle point okay so basically it's like 25 percent more of a unit uh when you do buy the riflemen here so we're going to do well how much money do okay we have 200 left so that's when we need a supply truck. Actually, it might be smart to do two, so that's perfect. That's all we can afford right now, so that is our new army. So we'll create that army, and then it should pop up right here. Now, it should say, yes, movement false, because they just spawned, but every day you get one movement. And one movement is one room, so you basically just click on the doors here, and you can go to the next room. We're going to end this day, though, and now we are going to move that unit out here, which should hopefully capture this main area there we go now we have no idea actually i didn't know that i thought because of the fog of war we, we would have no idea where the insects are but we can clearly see they are at least in the living room because that flag has been captured so i need to strategize do i want to invade on their territory so they can't invade on mine probably so we're probably going to go here next 
But getting as many units as possible is probably a smart idea. Oh, we also have an intelligence screen here, so we can kind of see how they are, uh, which is really convenient. So currently they only have ants, and you can see... Uh, they go all the way up the tech tree here, so you can kind of get an idea of what you're going to be up against and if you're going to get totally raped, which you usually do. All right, but now I'm actually thinking, let's go to the headquarters here, manage headquarters, because I do want to start earning XP. This is something I did wrong, I feel like, in the last one, and how you earn XP is, I believe, only the military academy. Uh, so this gives you XP plus 10 every day and uses batteries and refined metal. So how are we doing for batteries? We're actually losing 13 batteries a day, so we're actually going to deplete in two days. So that just means we need a power station beforehand. So let's build that. So now our batteries should be, we're doing plus 7 a day. Much better. So we should, I, yeah, we can't afford, can we afford the military academy? Okay, so yes, we don't have enough resources for the military academy right now. It's 1,060 iron, so it would actually take two turns to afford that because of our metal refinement right now. So that's a little bit unfortunate, so we're just going to end today, actually, before we do that. We'll close management panel. Did I move? Yeah, I moved this today, right? Yeah, we can't move it again, so we're just going to end today. We don't have too many troops just yet, which is a little bit worrisome. But I'm hoping the enemy doesn't either. So there we go. Uh, the choke point is going to be this door and this hallway here. So I'm going to try and steal this uh, little storage space. I'm going to let him grab this because I don't really want to go too far away from my headquarters. But now we're at 1400. So I think I'm actually going to risk it here and end the day once again without making any more units. I might be regretting this. I'm hearing those little... Okay, here they come. All right, let's see. Oh my god, they got two units already. This is going to be great. We have an amount of 22 units against 64 bugs. I am going to probably retreat because I definitely don't have any more reinforcements or anything. So let's hit defend and we are just going to say retreat. That allows them to cap this flag, I think anyways. And it gives me time to build more units. So we're at 2400 right now. Ah, uh, god, I don't know... I really need the XP because I want to get some better units, so let's build the Military Academy. Just see what happens here, so that should be good. Right now, we're earning plus one battery a day, plus 13 iron, and 1,000 plastics. We might want to increase that plastic in the very near, near future, but I want to start getting some armies beforehand because I know we are going to need them. So let's go to the recruitment again. Recruit a very similar army to before. We'll do... Yeah, we'll do two supply trucks. It's always smart to do two. And do we have enough money? We should have enough money to do a full unit of riflemen. Uh, unless my math is way off. Yeah, we just had enough, actually. So, perfect. This is a much better army. We'll create new, and at least we have a little bit of reinforcement now when these bugs do, of course, attack. All right, so we'll end that day. Ooh, they're actually... Okay. Uh, that's interesting. It looks like they are going to be wrapping around... Uh, it wants me to defend again, but I am just going to tell it to retreat. They can have that base, that's totally fine. I'm gonna start actually moving... Well, let's move this guy, because I want to keep at least one guy here. But we're gonna move that guy there, we're gonna move this guy over into the bedroom here, our parents' bedroom, I'm assuming. And at least we're holding some of the flags. Now, as I said before, this is a very difficult game. I actually don't expect to win here, uh, because of how difficult it is, so... Just warning you guys ahead of time, uh, it, I don't know why the developer made it so difficult, but uh, we are going to do our best. So, once again, uh, as we do pretty much every day now, let's get another bunch of units here. And bam! Another new army, so at least we got reinforcements now. If they do decide to attack this main point, we have two other armies that can get there right away. So let's see what the bugs do here. Uh, are they- they gotta be going over here soon. I can hear them scurrying about. But yeah, we don't actually get visual of any of them. So, once again, we will move our unit out here. And I'm going to move this unit into the bathroom here so we can cap that point. And because this is such a choke point, we don't really need units in there. So let's go to the main room and keep as many units as possible in here. Because this is where the magic's going to happen. Alright, let's go back to the headquarters. I'm going to build, I think, another plastic factory here. Uh, what does that use? It uses batteries. Now, we are... We have a little stockpile of batteries, so I think we should be okay. Never mind, don't have enough resources. Oh, man, I'm not... I Okay, I think actually even a metal factory might be smart right now, which we... Do we have enough? Yes, we do. We have enough. Now, the batteries is going to drop quite drastically, so we're going to want to build another one of those. But I think it's going to be smart to get the metal, so let's do that. Definitely are, are going to want to get plastics very soon, though. So, uh, oh, 
I can't. Oh, okay. I, I didn't mean to do that. We should have ended the day first, but here we go. Now we got probably our first major battle. So we have 46 allied units. Let's actually pull back. We got uh, some more units here. We can bring those back. And that should bump it up. Okay, 76 allied units versus 80 enemy bugs. Now we're gonna try this, but I think it's actually more than 80 bugs. I think it's 80 groups of bugs. I might be wrong though. So let's just try. Let's do it here. Okay, so yes, it is. So basically that means if we open up this, members in the group is 20 for the ants, and there's 29 groups of 20 ants. So these 70 riflemen, these dad guys don't go in groups, it's just one per. So it is a lot of bugs, and this is even worse, because we got uh, 51 flying groups of this flying bug. I'm assuming it's a mosquito, so members of the group, yeah, there's 14 51 groups. So that's why it's so confusing, because it looks like it's an even playing field, but they realistically have like 70 times the enemy. So, I'm gonna try it here. We'll see how we can do. I don't think it's gonna go well, though. At least we're not fighting this guy yet. Alright, but here's our first battle. So, what we have to do here is take out their ant mound. And it looks like there's only one in this room. There's actually a lot of spots where we can place units. So, you really gotta strategize here. They might be coming from over here. They're probably definitely gonna be coming by, by their ant hill here. So, we got a nice little area over in the corner. I think we should probably bunker down and use these two ones and maybe have a few reinforcements come over here. So this plays like a lot of tabs-like games where you place units just wherever you want. So you place one unit each time and you can see the battle points at the top. Each unit has a certain amount of battle points you can use. And that's the max amount of units you can have on the playing field at any given time. So we're obviously going to try and spread out these riflemen here. We're going to put the majority of our forces here. Now, with any infantry unit, you're going to want the supply trucks because that's going to heal with a healing radius around them. So we'll do that there. And I feel like spreading out the units will be a smart idea, so we're going to put another line of defenses here, and we can move these, obviously, as well. So we'll be definitely doing that. Uh, we still got lots of battle points, so no worries. And another two supply trucks here. I think... I might keep the rest in reinforcements. How many do we have? We only have 14. You know what? All right, screw the reinforcements. Okay, too many troops on the battlefield. So, yeah, there's a certain limit to the amount of troops you can have on the battlefield. I guess we hit that limit. So let's hit start battle here, and we are pretty much ready to go. I don't have to really control anything. You can see, though, you can control all the units. And the great thing about this game, just like most of these battle games, is you can con manually control each unit as well. So we'll be doing a bit of that. I'm just going to actually... All right, let's actually try and line these guys up a bit better. So we're going to have a nice long line of units uh, at the front lines here. We'll bring up the trucks as well. You can see the healing radius around the trucks, which is really nice. Here comes the bugs, though. Let's actually see. Is there any bugs? All right, no visual from the other side with the bugs. Oh my god, look at them coming in already, though. Okay, I'm going to go try and help out here because these guys are definitely going to need my help. All right, take that, you filthy scallywags. Look at them falling out of the sky, at least. We are holding them for right now, but you got to remember the amounts that we need to kill. I'm hoping we can keep this up. Actually, you know what? I feel like our front lines need a few more units. So let's go back to reinforcements and throw down. Actually, we can't, right? Because there's too many units on the battlefield, so they haven't killed any just yet. So that's totally fine. We'll go back to killing these filthy scallywags, and, uh, oh, they are getting a little bit close now. We definitely need some anti-air, I feel like, because these guys got a lot of flying bugs. This is freaking horrifying. Now, now the controls, you can actually see I do get a hit indicator every now and then. I'm reloading right now. Uh, the controls, though, they're not the best. All right, let's see if we can... Oh, 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 whoa. What the hell happened to my camera there? Okay, well, that guy died. Problem is, these guys die so quick anyways. It's very hard to tell, though, if you are hitting a unit or not. So I would like, uh, a better reference for that. But we're doing pretty good right now. Let's, uh, actually, uh, help out and pull up. Because we got the majority of our units back here. We're gonna pull up these guys and do a nice line this way. Because we definitely need the support. Let's bring up the uh, support trucks as well. Keep these guys nice and healed. Because the enemies are getting a little bit too close for comfort over there. <laughs> Look at the amount. This is fucking... All right, if you have this amount of pests, go call a fucking exterminator. We, we, we don't need no plastic fucking soldiers trying to deal with this shit. Uh, all right, so I don't know really what else to do. We got four more guys back here. 
I'm doing my best right now. Okay, we can probably do some reinforcements right now at least because some... No, none have died! All right, you guys are MVPs right now. This is freaking amazing. Look at these guys go. All right, bring it on, you suckers. We, we got this thing. Yep, yeah, knock that one down out of the sky. Oh, these guys are getting a little too close though. Oh, yeah, look at that long shot here. You can see every now and then I get a hit indicator. There's one. So you definitely can see that I'm doing damage. It's just I really wish there was like a bullet coming out or something. Uh, this game still in early access does need a little bit of work, but remarkably fun too. I mean, it's exactly like playing with army soldiers. It's great. And we are pushing them back. Look at this, guys. This is amazing. Is that it? Did we do it? Oh, shit. I've never actually done this, so I don't know what to do from here. I know we need to destroy this thing. All right, I think I made a mistake. And this is this is where this game gets very confusing. We don't have any sort of explosive. And if you read this, we need an explosive to take it down. Actually, these guys have special abilities. So can we actually... Uh, I know you can somehow drop the bomb. I'm not really sure how, though. All right, this last bug's a bit buggy, quite literally, because... Uh, can't see. We're trying to kill him. I just want to see if, if we can kill all the enemies if I can actually beat this. But uh, yes, as I said before, early access game here. I don't know what the fuck these... I, I told these guys to auto attack. It, it, it doesn't seem to be helping. So let's just... You guys are just bothering the poor thing. All right, there we go. We actually finally got him. So that is officially everything. So can I... Oh, ooh, I didn't mean to do that. So I was wondering if I had to kill all the units first, but it looks like I don't, I can't actually attack this thing because I don't have any of the damn bombs. So I guess I should read the requirements first. We need to destroy the enemy outpost. Uh, the enemy outpost will be destroyed before the time expires. So we are going to have this. Let's just let it expire and see what happens here because I need those sappers. At least we're earning enough XP to earn them, to get them now because without the sappers, we can't destroy the thing. Again, that should be a unit that should be given to you if it's actually needed for an objective. Because I, I don't, I have no bombs. So all I have is riflemen and they don't drop bombs, unfortunately. So that's a little bit unfortunate, but the good thing is, is we beat the bastards. I know at least now with these upgraded riflemen, I'm strong enough to do it. So we still technically lost the battle, but they lost more units than me. So screw them. Doesn't matter. I still consider it a victory. All right, and we have 64 and 6 trucks remaining, so we did not lose that much. We still lost freaking food, though, which is going to help them out, I believe. Ah, uh, but as you can see, they are gone, so that feels great. Let's get some freaking sappers, though. How about that? All right, not even that mad, because sapper is an amazing unit. I think, yes, they're worth 100, though, so we are going to have to wait a couple days. I wonder if I should get another military camp here. I, I forget how much they cost, so let's see. Military Academy, we can afford it with plastic. We cannot afford it with metal, unfortunately, and I would not feel comfortable doing any more batteries anyways, because we are losing so much per day. Now, can we afford this? Yes, we indeed can, and I think it's going to be worth it to do it. So let's get those batteries collected. Now at least we don't have to worry about batteries anytime soon. So we're just going to end today. We can recruit a little army if we wanted to, but I may as well recruit a better army tomorrow. All right, and after a couple more days, now we should, yes, we have enough EXP to get the unit. So the, the, the XP grind is really quite difficult in this game. So let's go to unlocks. General. Actually, I wonder how much is like an attack helicopter. So like to get to this stuff, it is a little bit expensive. Might be worth it later on though. At least we are earning XP now, uh, which is going to help us out. So we're going to unlock the sapper finally. We should have did that earlier on. I knew I should have done it for a reason. Uh, we also got bugs attacking once again. So we aren't going to be able to technically defeat them, but we should be able to dwindle their numbers down once again. Because without the sappers, we're basically pointless now. I don't, yeah, you can't move a unit when you do recruit it, so we can build another army, which we're going to do since we have enough money to do so. So let's do a supply truck, supply truck. We'll do two of those, and then how much are the sappers? 200. So you know they're fucking useful because of how expensive they are. Uh, we're going to do two of those, and I think I might even do light riflemen, so we actually have a, a few units to defend them. And there we go, we are officially out of money. So yeah, that's probably the best way to do it. Create that new army, and at least tomorrow, we can bring sappers over so we can truly, you know, push back their front lines. 
All right, so let's do one more fight here without our sappers, unfortunately, and just see if we can take them on. We should be able to. We can technically retreat, which maybe we should have done to get our sappers, but you know what? Never retreat, never surrender. All right, what's this one? This is a different game mode, obviously. We're playing uh, headquarters in one room, I guess. So what do we got to do here? Conquer the flags. In order to control the room, we have to fight against the enemy and conquer five zones spread across the area. It is vital to win this battle in order to control the area to get resources on a continuous basis. Oh, we might actually not need the sappers now because of this. So we need to move a lot. This is going to be fun. All right, again, we got some pretty basic bitch units, so there's not going to be too much different from the last fight here. We're going to uh, get a nice crew going on over here. And I think it will be smart to spread out the units for this one, so... That's a good crew there. We'll do the supply trucks later on, and I definitely want a crew over here, because there's going to be, uh... Well, what, where's the closest? The closest enemies are over there, so they are probably going to attack. But there's quite a distance between the armies, so too many troops on the battlefield. Oh, shit, I didn't realize I had that many on the battlefield already. Okay. So can I actually... I cannot... Oh, that's bad. I can't... Okay, I should have done the trucks first. Because it looks like I can't delete the damn units. Is that is that is that a thing? Please tell me I can put vehicles down. Oh god, that's not good. Okay, well, I might have screwed up this one, ladies and gentlemen. Because if we don't have heals, bad things are going to happen. Let's hit ready, though. And I guess we'll just see what <laughs> happens. My bad, I didn't expect that one to happen. Alright, so we're going to bring these guys up here to cap that one. Bring these guys over here to cap this one. At least I only got to use one unit right now. You know what? It'd probably be smart to even... Oh, God. The, the, sp the spiders are coming. I think it'll be smart to stay in a group, actually. I was going to go try and cap some more of them. They already got one? You guys are quick, man. Alright, we're going to go try and meet at the middle one here, because you know that's where the fighting's going to happen. Oh, God. And we got some bugs coming in, so let's spread out this group. And reinforcements should be coming in very, very soon here. We're dropping them like flies. Shoot that thing. Oh, I didn't know I could do that. I can tell them, like, shoot it. All right. This is, this is, this is getting weird, though. They are spread out everywhere. All right. We're going to push up this line here because they are pushing the units back. I'm, I'm going to go to the front lines here. Try and help out if I can. No, get, get away from there, bug. There we go. We shot that motherfucker down. Holy shit. Okay. I, what the hell's going on with that guy? Let's see. Hit him. Hit. I hit him. Hey, there. Oh, he's still not dead, though. God, these guys got some good HP. There we go, snipe that guy, and I'm getting stuck on my fellow brethren here. Look at, look at these little sneaky bastards trying to go cap it. Nope, not happening. We're shooting you down. I think they're actually already shot down, so we got some good snipers here. All right, we're doing good, though. Let's actually push up the back units once again, and we're going to go try and cap that main flag here. So here we go. Push up those guys. Push up these guys, which are keeping all of these spiders over here, or ants, rather, at bay, which is great. Because their spawn point is actually over there. Now, do, we don't have any dead units yet, so once again, we're doing totally fine. Which is a very weird thing. Oh, God. Get the fuck out of here. All right, but when we do start losing some units, we're going to spawn some new ones here. I'm going to go try and hold this base by myself. Actually, look at that. I didn't even plan that out. I left a couple units back there, and they seem to be actually holding it, which is great. Okay, but we capped this base. We are pushing them back quite drastically. So once again, I'm just going to bring this guy over to that this unit. And we are going to... It's looking like I think they lost all their reinforcements. That was a rather small fight. So we're pushing up the whole team here. And we are going to spread out and take their bases. So I think if we take both of these, we should be okay. We do got a unit defending this one, which is great. That's exactly what I wanted. We actually got another unit over there defending that one. Totally not intentional, but definitely something you want to do. Uh, I can't seem to grab this unit for some reason. Again, wonkiness every now and then gets annoying, but it seems to be working relatively okay. And I forgot to keep a unit in the middle, and they took that back, so we're just going to spread this out. They are dwindling their numbers quite badly right now, so... Uh, now I got at least a few units at every flag here. We got reinforcements coming back to this unit. You know what? Let's bring these guys over too, just to make sure we get it. Not that there's really anything there aside from one or two bugs. All right, but this one better than expected. I uh, fully expected to lose this fight, and did we actually win it? Is there, there? There's still some units around, isn't there? All right, victory is when time expires, allies have more conquest points than enemies. So we just got to wait for whatever reason. There's no, like, okay, you killed everything, so you win. But, uh, yeah, we actually do need to wait for this time to go down. Thankfully, we can really... Well, we can speed up this time to times four, so I still got to wait a damn minute for no reason at all. Actually, now that I look at it, there's this score up here, so I think you just slowly gain score, and if we hit 350 here, do we... Yes, we win. Okay, so 
Didn't notice that, but that's the way to do it. I thought I had to wait for the whole time. Not as bad as I thought now, so we'll end that battle. We won it, so we should... I don't know if... I've never won a battle, guys, so I don't know if we get anything for doing this. Ah, oh, we get experience. So that's another way to earn experience by, you know, actually being victorious. So that's good. We got some refined metal, so lots of rough plastic. So uh, congrats to us. We are holding out the battlefield quite well. And now that we have this front line here, I think we'll be able to push them out without any real problem. But we're going to save this and come back to it later on because I want to go and check out some of the bigger units. So now that it's saved, if you guys do like this, let me know in the comments below because I'd obviously... Love your input on if this is cool or not. I think it's really cool, but sometimes I'm a little bit biased, I guess. So, yeah, we're doing really good on that campaign. Let's go to the custom battle, though, and try this one out. So this is where it's going to get fun, because we can do whatever the fuck we want. We can recruit some of the crazy stuff. I definitely do want some fighter aircraft, so let's do... Oh, wow, we would do it in increments of 10. That's just great. All right, so let's get some aircraft in there. We're, we don't want to go too crazy. Big guns? Yes, please. That sounds awesome. Uh, paratroopers transport. Ooh, okay. So, uh, there's different transporting vehicles. Ground attack aircraft, yes. Definitely want some warthogs in here, but let's get some infantry as well, as well as tanks. Battle tanks, we'll take ten of those. I definitely want some anti-aircraft, so heavy anti-aircraft vehicle. You know what? No, we'll, we'll do ten of those. We don't want to have too crazy of the battle here. Flamethrowers? Yes, please. That sounds absolutely awesome. Let's do some mechs. Let's just check out some of the cool units, you know what I'm saying? And, of course, we need the basic units, so let's get some heavy riflemen in here. We'll do 50 of those. Anti-aircraft, 10. Anti-tank. What, what is a bug tank? I gotta assume it's gotta be a beetle or something. So there we go. We'll do some of that. Mortar infantry, yes. Grenader, yep. And I actually do want some sappers in here, because I wanted to show you guys this unit today, because it's really freaking cool. Uh, but we didn't obviously get to it, so there we go. I think that should be good. I have no idea how many units I had. So I have no idea if this will be a, fi a fair fight. It's hard to tell when you're fighting bugs against army units. So, of course, we need some scorpions in here, guys. We need some big units. All right, some tarantulas, yes, please. If you are scared of bugs, I'm sorry. Let's get some of this flying guy here. And, oh god, this is this is the one I'm scared of. I have a uh, real fear of praying mantises. They just look so alien to me. So, of course, we're gonna do some of those so I can be scared as well. Look at this guy. So, that's one of the pincer ants. Uh, what about grasshoppers? I wonder if they actually do hop. So, let's do that just because I'm curious if they hop or not. Uh, I'm assuming that's a modern housefly. And, you know what? Let's get a shitload of ants as well because ants are fun to explode. So I'll do 250 of those, and I have no idea if this is going to be good or not. You can choose the room you want to fight in, so let's actually go to a different home. Let's do the bridge, and the actual bridge here is, it's probably called the hall, isn't it? Nope, that is, that definitely doesn't look like a hall. All right, that probably is it. It looks like it, so we'll do that, and let's start this thing up. Here we go. Oh, that's a, that's a sight for sore eyes. All right, so here we are in the hallway. I expected it to be a little bit longer, to be honest. This is actually a really hard choke point for us. We only have one spawn point. And they have two. Do I have to actually place their units? I doubt I do. So let's go to reinforcement here. And oh, look at all the options we have. Now you can see the BP difference though. So we don't want to go too crazy. Let's do two mechs on the side here. Definitely want to get some sappers. So we're going to put some sappers in the middle. Because we'll spread those guys out. And they'll get working real quick. Mortars. Sure, we're going to keep some of those back here. We'll do two units of those as well. Uh, now how do we, I've never actually called in a vehicle, so I don't know how that works, but that's going to obviously be very fun. Alright, we'll bring the tanks in over here. Of course we need artillery, holy shitbags! Okay, well, I didn't expect that size, but that is some sheer artillery. I can't even put more than like two of those on here, so I think we'll just keep it to one for right now. Let's go to the aircraft though, do I have to? Okay, so I, I call them in with the control tower. So we'll do, uh, how about four Warthogs and four Fighters. That sounds good to me. We definitely need some more infantry, though. We need some serious infantry, so... In... I'm gonna move out this with mech and tank here, so behind them we're gonna do a shitload of infantry. Or not, because I can't place anymore for whatever reason. It's not telling me... Oh, it's because I have no battle points. Alright, well I guess that's all we can do, so let's hit the ready here. And, oh, let's hit start battle here, actually, and then I guess we are going. So, I want to show you this sapper guy, because they are really freaking cool, and we'll actually be able to set up some stuff. So I'm going to put some glue up. Oh, God, they're already coming in. Oh, God, oh, God, okay, I didn't prepare. Uh, what the fuck? 
Okay, excuse me. Uh, you're you're in the ground, good sir. This is this is really bad. I don't have anything going on right now. Uh, you know what? Let's just control the tank. That sounds fun. Screw up, bug. I'm a tank. Okay, I totally missed. All right, this this is bad. Things are dying. I oh I forgot. I need freaking utility trucks to heal. Okay, this is real bad, guys. I did not plan this out very well. All right, I guess I'll control the mech because this looks kind of fun. There we go, destroying that guy. Oh my god, look at the amount of flying units though. All right, this guy, look at look at how much I'm hitting him and he doesn't go down. All right, this is just of my nightmare. Okay, so we are losing units drastically, so let's get, uh, you know what, let's do the control tower. Let's call these guys in and get some reinforcements in here because we got lots of flying guys we need to deal with. Look at these guys coming out. Can I control this? Please tell me. Oh, 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 guy, dude, you just, you just threw me off, off course. I have no idea how to control this. I'm not going to control it because I will not be able to help very much. Okay, so they are attacking my base like crazy. Let's call in the lights, I guess you could say. We need a serious amount of reinforcements here. That's all I can do. I Look at the battle points. I'm spamming it, and I we just don't have enough. Those tarantulas are serious and large. Oh, God, I'm driving this again. I don't want to drive that. All right, we do have this tank back here, so let's try and... Ooh, ooh, a little bit of lag there. All right, the grasshoppers have come. What the fuck? Something just threw me up in the air. Okay, the grasshoppers are being aggressive, I think. All right, this is just absolutely a clusterfuck, and it's exactly what I wanted. No strategy involved here, that's for sure. But at least we're doing... Jesus Christ, what the fuck just dropped on me? Did, did a bug just buy, dive bomb me? All right, we got the defeat. That didn't go as planned. I thought we would rape face, but battle points is a real thing, and uh, I spent too many, much of them on very big and powerful units. That big gun was really cool, though. All right, guys, well, that's going to wrap it up for this first episode of Home Wars. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and if you guys are enjoying this game, uh, we might run through the campaign and do a couple more episodes if you guys are enjoying it, so let me know in the comments below. Let me know by hitting that like button or dislike button if you don't like it. And yeah, guys, I hope you have an awesome day. As always, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.